right guys welcome to another episode today me and Virgil are spot hopping chasing spawning white bass mostly there ain't a whole lot of them at our first spot right here but we decided to stop here because it was on the way here it's mostly spotted bass crappie both in buffalo and catfish but i have seen a white bass come out of here so i figured there is a chance if they are migrating up this river, they can't go any further than where we're at. So they would get stuck below these rapids. Or I should say they would have a very difficult time getting through here anyway. We're going to go to at least three or four spots today. We have a full moon right now, complete overcast, and about 10 mile an hour south winds. Should be a good day, guys. I got confidence we'll catch something. They say that when Pretty the guard is sitting here and, and inches of water like in a big pile. <clears throat> guys, check this out. There's a big pile of gar in one inch of water. Not even covering their backs. They're just setting in it. They're all in a big colony like crazy dude that is nuts I've never seen nothing like that Crazy, man. <laughs> oh my God. Look, he's going way down. <laughs> oh my. He took way the hell off. I got my drag so weak. He's gonna rip off. <clears throat> I'm just doing this for fun for a minute. Just get us, get us a number anyway. He's actually pretty decent size. That's a long nose, I think. Yeah, that's a long nose there. Alright, first fish of the day though. I just kind of got this guy honestly just for fun. Just to get on the board and get a different species that I might not get later. Yeah, he's about right. He might be about 26. Long nose gar. Hey, it's a start. You couldn't miss them. They're in a big ball. I just threw my grub and it went in his side. Pretty cool. <laughs> Still. Some limb line baits. You could get them right here and hurry up and go, make it a little more and keep some of them alive. 
no point though because you can get them there quicker yeah, 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 spot you know, number two there's a lot of fuck, uh, spawning buffalo right here. I'm gonna try to get one, but I'm mostly worried about white bass. But I um, will get one of these buffalo as well, just to get a different species and get a big fish as well. The water's pushed back way more than I thought it would be, but that should make for better white bass fishing. The rapid is almost gone. The first one is completely under, but this one's got a little current coming down. So this is the first rapid in the river, which means the white bass will be right here congregated. Probably in big old school of 50 of them. Oh my, if this is a white bass, it's freaking huge, man. If that's what it is, it's either that or a drum. This is, this is a giant white bass, I think. Holy, no, it's gotta be a drum. If this is a white bass, it's a three pounder, dude. It's doing circles, it's a drum. It did, I can tell by the circle it just did. That's a fish though, right? They are biting, just not every throw like they normally do. It might be a big buffalo too, man. Oh my God, this is way bigger than I thought. I think it's a giant drum or a buffalo. Drum, I seen it. Good Lord, man. Better than nothing, right? He's a good five or six pounds, though. <laughs> well, guys, if this would have only been a white bass, I would have been almost had a state record. You want to show me for just a second? Man, look at that drum, guys. That's eight pounds. Holy smokes, man. No wonder it was so hard to fight. The big old drum, guys, on the Bandit 200 Metal Flake. Never lets me down. That crankbait doesn't. Dingy or clear water doesn't seem to matter. face too. Mm -hmm. I had him good. Oh, don't tell me. I gotta get the damn water. At least I can wash my hands at this place. Oh, I almost had it, man. There we go. I guess I'll be nice and let this guy live another day. That's a big drum. Definitely put up a good fight though. I gotta give him credit. I might.
through right there. <laughs> All right, Virgil's on one, guys. You may have a white bass. Yeah, there was. Hey, you got a white bass, dude. You got the desired species. Oh, and they got blue fins. They're spawning. They are spawning. See how his fins are like turquoise? That is awesome, man. They're in this little hole up here. See, they weren't up here this last time. Thursday, they were down. Starting right there. All right, guys. Virgil got the kind we're after. That gives us hope. We can sit here and catch them with worms, too, if, if they're being stubborn trust me when I say there's about a hundred of them in here in these two three holes sometimes it takes using a worm to get them man I'm gonna get a good photo of you bud hell yeah if we can just get 50 of them man we're all in the jackpot then guys we're trying to adapt to these changed conditions when I was here it was perfect Water clarity, you can see all the snags, and now you can't. Using, ooh, using a grub is going to be a lot harder. I think we're going to have to stick with crankbaits. I think my rattle trap may be the answer because it's going to make a lot more noise. He's got himself a, about a 12-inch male white bass. It is the kind we're after, though. Heck yeah, man. I like the fins, man. Yeah. You you Black can fins all yeah you notice it more when you're reeling them in you can see their fins being blue right it was like I may put that lipless on here in a little while man just to do something a little different so they are here and I guarantee they were at the other place there we go fucking right man white bass. <laughs> we are on them blue fins another male okay of, of the four i caught thursday only one was a female so they are not in full swing yet they're getting real close i'm going to say monday tuesday and wednesday unfortunately if you even if you drove straight here from work it takes to almost six o'clock which gives you a good two hours but that's why I left it too the other day, though. I was like, I got here right at four. All right, guys, I'm looking for milk. I think they already, I think they may have already milked. And they just were waiting on the eggs to hatch. This is another male. This one's only about 10 inches. But it is the desired species. We are getting them. That ain't bad for what, five minutes? He was kind of over right here, right there. He hit it as soon as I pulled it down too, man. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Whatever this is, is nice, man. Oh, it's a drum the dreaded drum <laughs> dang if that would have just been a white bass it would have been a big one god <laughs> uh, that's what fools you is they're the same color oh man and they hit just as hard as one another All right, guys, wrong kind. Boy, it's a spawned out drum. If it's paper thin, man. <laughs> it looks like someone squeezed it in a vise or like ran over it with a car or something weird looking. Starving. Whew.
This one's a lot more healthy looking. guys this is a uh, about another six or seven pound drum way healthier than the last one I just caught that's for sure that thing was spawned out this is obviously probably a male wow not bad a big one standing on that was six inches above the water when I was here that's how high it is so it is uh it was completely dry 